month, a debate over childhood vaccinations has been ongoing, although there is a specific vaccination schedule. Studies show that parents across the country oftentimes opt out or under vaccinate their children. But a new report from the Institute of Medicine shows just how important staying on schedule is. Amy Pisani, who is the executive director of Every Child by Two, is here to tell us what this new report found. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, let's talk about the report. How, who requested it? Well, the government requested the report. The Institute of Medicine actually reports to the government. They are a group of scientists that look at different issues um, as requested. So the Health and Human Services Department requested the actual study. And the results of the study are quite alarming to you. Well, they are alarming. Um, well, this is a good study. It shows that they looked at all of the research on vaccine safety, and they looked at the actual childhood immunization schedule as it is today, and they determined that, in fact, it is very safe, and it is very effective at saving lives. And so they looked at the vaccines together. When the you vaccine give, schedule that is currently that in place. That is currently in place, that is mm -hmm. recommended by the CDC and the Academy of Pediatrics. And they looked at the vaccines together to make sure that there's no interactions between vaccines, and they determined that unequivocally it is very, very safe. But we're all, you've also found out that there is a good amount of people who are not vaccinating their children, and this is intentional. This is another study that came out recently. We've had a banner a couple of weeks of studies, and this study looked at millions of health records of children around the country, um, mostly children born in recent years between 2004 and 2008, and it showed that almost half of the children were not vaccinated on time. Mm -hmm. um, there's different reasons for that. Maybe there's financial reasons, which shouldn't be because vaccines are free for children who can't afford them. Um, but one in eight of those children were not vaccinated on time because of parental choice. And you're with the Every Child by Two program. So this is quite concerning. For you. It's very concerning because when you don't vaccinate a child on time, it leaves them vulnerable to diseases and we have outbreaks happening. Whooping cough, we've had measles outbreaks, we're in the middle of flu season. And so any child that isn't vaccinated on time is left vulnerable longer. And you know, you have all those newborns who aren't protected yet as well. Mm -hmm. And so we really have to look out for the newborns who, um, who are, are vulnerable by vaccinating ourselves as adults and our, and our teenage children as well. Mm -hmm. Now we have to talk about why some people choose to not vaccinate because there are people out there who choose to not get their children vaccinated at all, right? They, they have some concerns. A lot of it had to do with the uh, false report that mm -hmm. came out some time ago regarding the mercury and some of the vaccinations causing autism that has since been dispelled. Uh, but that's still a lingering concern for some parents. Yeah, that's true. And dispelled is really the key word. But the problem is there's new parents every day, and they hear the rumors, but they don't know what happened with the, with the results of the studies. They don't know that the, the one doctor who made the claim about autism lost his medical license because he falsified his data. They hear about it, but they don't, they don't learn that the Institute of Medicine then looked at all of the research around that was conducted around the world and said, hey, these, this is a very safe schedule. Vaccines not only are safe, but they save lives, millions and millions of lives every day around the world. How do parents here in Connecticut compare to parents in other states when it comes to vaccinating their kids? Connecticut does well. We have a very good state vaccination rate, um, but again, sometimes we look at the state rate and we don't realize that there might be a small pocket of community that doesn't vaccinate. Often when um, there's a group of parents that don't vaccinate, they cluster together. They mm -hmm. live in a small town. Mm -hmm. And you might not know that they're in your town because we don't break down the data that much. And so that's why it's even more important to say, hey, I have my newborn baby and I have my parents. They need their whooping cough vaccines. You know, get them vaccinated on time and, and you know, really look at the community. We have to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. I get my flu vaccine so that the neighbor next door who has a newborn, their baby doesn't get the flu. Mm -hmm. You know, I got my whooping cough vaccine to protect my, my niece who was just born. And I, and I think that's what we kind of forget sometimes in this country. We mm -hmm. can prevent things, some things we can't prevent. So it's about this protecting ourselves, but about protecting others yeah, as well. Yeah, right. Now, you're talking about people who intentionally do not vaccinate their children, but there are situations where, you know, people move from one city or one state to another mm -hmm. and they just fall behind on the schedule, but there is a way for them to keep updated. They can check the website and make sure everything is taken care of. Right? Yeah, actually, we have a really great schedule. Um, we have a neat app. I don't usually talk about our, okay. our website, but vaccinateyourbaby.org has a really cool um, computer app where you can log in your baby's birthday and it'll tell you exactly when they need their vaccines. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. And for more information, folks can head to your website as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's vaccinateyourbaby.org .org. or vaccinateyourfamily.org. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.